High Flying Helicopters. Let's circle the title or name of this book in green. The name of this book is High Flying Helicopters. Now, let's circle the name of the author or authors in red. These are the people who wrote the story for us, Tony Mitten and Aunt Parker. Here we go. Helicopters hovering, hanging in the sky. Clattering and racketing, they hover low and high. A helicopter's rotor blades create the lift and rise. They press upon the air to send it riding through the skies. The pilot in the cockpit has control sticks. There are two, collective stick and cyclic stick, and this is what they do. Collective sticks will take a helicopter high or low. Cyclic sticks control the way a copter needs to go. For copters can go forward, backward, sideways, up or down, which means they're great for tricky things in country or in town. This copter is an ambulance when patients need quick care, if streets are slow, a copter can deliver them by air. This copter uses radar to scan the stormy seas. It winches folks to safety when they've signaled, help us please. This mountain rescue copter goes to places high and snowy. It rescues people stranded where the weather's chill and blowy. And here's a helicopter scooping water from a lake. You need a lot of water with a forest fire to break. Police use helicopters to observe things on the ground. Their cameras are good for trailing cars and folks around. They sometimes use a searchlight to show things on the go and radio their ground crew who are busy down below. This shuttle helicopter is a taxi in the sky. It's come to take us on a trip. It's time to say goodbye. The end.